Hello everyone, um, it's good to see you. This week we're gonna do a really fun project. We are gonna make a self portrait. And here's my example that I made for to be me. I'm trying to center myself on the screen here. And part of your self portrait will be you with a mask on, like we have to do now when you go to the store and even here, some of you here at school. And then it has me without the mask. So you can see it's folded. So with the mask, without. And then you're also going to decorate it with some words that describe you, okay? Like you can see on mine, I put kind, friend, teacher, caring, artist, mom. Um, I also made another example. This one is of Harry Potter, okay? And so here he is with his mask and here he is without his mask. And I put some words describing him, smart, strong, determined, brave, loyal. And then I have one more I made. This is of a little girl. This is no one in particular. Um, I just thought she was really cute. I actually got this lesson idea from Cassie Stevens and the one she drew looked a lot like this. And so you have with the mask and without, and then I basically did the words for me again. Okay, now the reason I did three examples is so that you can see three different examples of hair. So here's a little girl with curly hair. Here's an example of boy hair. And then here's an example of more straight hair, kind of like mine. Okay, and of course you can draw your hair any way you want. So when you get to the hair part, if you feel like I need something to look at to draw my hair, you can rewind and come back to this part and you can pause on the different parts. So if you have hair similar to this, you can hit pause right now. If you're a boy and you have hair similar to this, you can hit pause right now. And if you're a girl with straight hair, you can hit pause right now. Or if your hair is completely different, maybe it's something else. Um, I have an example of several different styles of hair. I'm gonna go grab it real quick. So if you feel like none of those examples helped you, I made a picture with all different kinds of hairstyles. So hopefully one of these helps you. And so when yours is on the screen, I've got boys and girls on here, you can hit pause. All right, or if it's just in your head, you don't have to have something to look at, that's great too. All right, um, so in the next screen, I'm gonna show you the supplies you need. Get your supplies together and let's get started. Okay, so unfortunately, because this paper is long, I can't fit the whole thing under the camera at once, so I'm gonna be moving it back and forth a lot. But you are going to fold it lengthwise. So I have my paper where it's going up and down, it's tall and skinny. And I'm gonna bring the bottom of it up to the top, and I'm going to fold it in half. I'm gonna try my best to line up the corners, but I'm not gonna obsess over having perfect either. Okay, and I make a nice crease. Then I'm gonna take the top. Notice I'm leaving this part laying flat on my table or desk or counter, wherever you're working. And I'm gonna line this up with the bottom edge. I'm lining that up and I make a nice fold. Now remember, if at any time I'm going too fast or you feel like you need to see it again, all you have to do is hit pause and rewind. All right, so we just folded that down. Now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna take the top and fold it down. And again, I try to line it up with the bottom and I make a nice fold, okay? And then I unfold that again. You can see my crease. I'm gonna flip it back over again. And so now I have the part that opens on top and I have this here, okay? So now we're gonna to get to work with drawing ourselves. Okay, so first we're drawing with a pencil and remember to draw light. So if you make a mistake, you can erase it. So remember, draw light till you know you have it right, okay? And I'm gonna be drawing right on top of the fold here. So I'm drawing on this part of the paper, but it's like it's resting right here on the fold. 
And so I'm going to put my finger kind of in the middle of my paper, so I kind of know where the middle is. And over here, I'm going to do a rainbow line and another rainbow line. What do you think those are going to become? Hopefully you just said the eyes. Now I'm going to do a horizontal line going across. And then I'm going to do a partial circle. If I, I'm going to open that up so you can see that a little bit. I'm going to keep it close for now. I'm going to do a partial circle, basically a half circle. And then a half circle inside that. And we'll color that part in later. That's the black part of the eye. And add some eyelashes. If you don't want to add eyelashes, it's not required. You don't have to. Okay. And then I'm going to add some eyebrows. All right. And now I'm going to draw another rainbow line. And again, I'm like right here on the fold. It's like my pencil's resting on it. And I'm going to practice with my finger first. I'm going to come up and down, up and down. Right? And what do you think that's going to become? Yes, that is the top of our head. Okay. Oh, it's looking cute so far. All right, now I'm going to draw an ear and an ear. Okay. Now I am going to need my ear. Actually, we're not going to worry about that right now. We'll worry about that later. All right, now we're going to draw some hair. Um, and you just want to kind of draw it on top of your head. I'm drawing it kind of like it's a little girl with cute curly hair. And like I could even leave it like that and that would be like a little boy. You could do it like a smooth line, like you could do curve, curve. Um, she's going to have little pigtails. And if you want to draw your hair differently, you of course can, okay? Um, the idea is to make it look sort of like you you know, uh, but it doesn't have to. Obviously mine doesn't look like me. Um, I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> okay. All right. So then we're going to draw the bottom part of our head down here. So I'm going to have a line that comes down and up, down and up. Okay. So down and up. Okay. Let's see how that didn't line up perfectly, but I can fix that. That's a good example of why we draw light. And now this is what I was trying to do earlier. I'll finish my ears here. So it doesn't, we don't want to be like Van Gogh and be missing part of our ear. All right, now this is the part of our picture. If you look at my example here, this is the part that's going to have the mask. And the part without the mask is underneath. Okay, so I need to draw my mask. And it's just going to be another curved line, basically another rainbow line. We're using a lot of rainbow lines today. So I'm going to draw a curved line like that. And then you can decorate your mask. I'm just going to make stripes, but you can decorate it absolutely any way you want. Okay. And then, now if I'm going too fast, like if you're still decorating your mask right now, then hit pause. And then when you're done decorating your mask, hit play again. And then after you've done your mask, we want to draw two lines for our neck. It's looking great so far. I'm excited. Okay, so now we are going to open it up. So I've unfolded it. Okay. And I am going to draw the part of my face without the mask. So again, you can see here, it's the part with my mask, and then I can open it up, and I have the part without my mask, okay? And this is basically like the one I'm drawing right now, because I thought she was the cutest. And then without the mask, okay? And this one is my self-portrait, by the way. I did do a self-portrait. And then I also did... Mr. Potter, <laughs> you know how I love Harry Potter. So there's with the mask and without and the adorable. Okay, so anyway, so you should have yours opened up now. And basically same thing we did here with the bottom of our face, but it's in here now. So again, I'm gonna practice with my finger first. All 
right. So I'm going to take my pencil and down and up. And I lined it up a little better this time. Still wasn't perfect, but that's okay. And then I'm going to finish my ears again. And you could, speaking of ears, you could put earrings on it or whatever if you wanted. And then again, we need a neck. Okay, now we need a mouth. So I'm going to draw just an open smile, but you can draw your mouth any way that you want it to be. Again, you do not have to make it look just like mine. I'm going to have like, you can just see a little bit of a tongue. And let's see, I'm trying to remember what I did before. There's Harry's mouth. There's my mouth. And here is her mouth. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna add the little lines on the corner of my mouth. But you don't have to. And then for our nose, we're just gonna do a little curved line. Now, if you wanna do your nose differently, feel free. Okay, and I am gonna give her couple of earrings. Maybe here she's wearing studs and then maybe here she's wearing some hoops. Okay, so now what part do you think comes next? Bum, bum, bum. It is the Sharpie. You know, Miss Thompson loves her Sharpie. Okay, so I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to trace over everything that I just drew. Trace over the top of my head. I'm going to trace over my ear. Tracing over my hair. Go ahead and do the rest of the ear there. It could wait, but I'm going ahead. And then I'm getting her little pigtails. Making sure my camera was working. <laughs> it's horrible to think you're recording and then you find out you're not. And her eyebrows. And again, remember where the Sharpie and the pencil don't line up perfectly. It's no big deal because we can just come and erase it later. Now, when I color in the dark part of the eye, I am going to leave a little section white. So it's like a reflection in there. So when I color, I want to be careful so I don't accidentally color it black because it really gives it a nice touch. All right, and then the bottom of her mask, and the actual mask, and her neck. All right, now I need to open it up and do the part of her face without the mask. Again, I'm doing her ears, the bottom of her face, her neck, her nose, and her mouth. All right. Now, what part do you think comes next? Yes, the eraser. Okay. Now again, if you only have the eraser that's on the end of your pencil, that is totally fine. Um, again, I always use white pearl because I just feel they work best. Pink pearl are good also. Um, those of you that are up at the school doing in-person learning, you're eventually going to have an art kit. You probably don't have it already by the time we're doing this video because this is the first thing we're doing the first week we get back. Um, it's probably going to take another week or so. But you will have a pink pearl eraser to use at school. Unfortunately, if you're a virtual learner, um, we can't give you supplies.
I wish I could. All right, so go ahead and hit pause and erase, be, and don't forget to erase the lines on the part where your mask is, and then come back here when you're done. Okay, so now we finished erasing, we got everything sharpied, we have everything erased, and now we're going to do something with this kind of weird empty space we have in between the mask part and the regular part. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill it with words that describe you. For example, I'm going to get my one that's my actual self-portrait, there's Ms. Thompson's, and for the words describing me, you can see I put teacher, kind, I like to think I'm kind, hopefully I am, <laughs> I'm, I'm a friend, I'm caring, I care a lot about other people, I'm an artist, I'm a mom, and then I filled it with little doodles and swirls and hearts and obviously I colored it uh, for my Harry Potter one. Now, if you know anything about Harry Potter, you know a little bit about his personality. But I put that he's smart, he's strong, he's loyal. That means he's, he's, he sticks with his friends. He doesn't turn his back on him. He's very brave and he's very determined. And again, I just put little doodles and squiggles and hearts. Um, you could put um, things describing you like kind, funny, pretty, smart. Um, you could also put things describing about you, like maybe you play soccer, so you could put soccer. Uh, maybe you're a singer, so you could put singing, uh, artist, uh, runner, biker, um, baker, you know, whatever, just little words to describe you and little doodles. So I'm going to pretend that this young lady here, this little girl, is one of you. Okay. And I'm actually thinking of one of my students, but I'm not going to say who it is. I'm just going to leave you wondering that she is very clever. She comes up with smart ideas and problem solving. And I'm going to put a little kind of cloud around it to make it cute. Um, she is um, trying to, she's pretty. And I'm just going to put like a little swirl next to it. Maybe a couple hearts. Um, she is smart. I only know her art grades, but I'm sure she gets good grades in all her classes. And I'm putting like a little starburst kind of shape around it, kind of like you would see in a comic book. Um, she's friendly. She's real outgoing. She's certainly not shy. Um, she is bold. She is not afraid to do what she knows needs to be done. And again, I'm putting little doodles in so it looks more interesting. You, you don't want it to be, you know, kind of boring and empty. And then what can I put over here? Um, <laughs> She's in third grade, so I'm going to put third. All right, and then look how cute that is. And then you will take your Sharpie and you will Sharpie over everything again and erase any pencil you can still see. All right, so I am going to fast forward and you hit pause and finish yours.
Okay, so I have everything sharpied, I have everything erased, I have the part with the words, the part with the mask, the face, and the top of your head. And it folds like this, okay? So now we are ready to color. You can use crayons, you can use markers, you can use a little bit of both. I know sometimes people like to outline what marker and color and what crayon. And sometimes people like to make the areas they want to stand out and look more bold. They do that with marker and then the, you have the softer areas with the crayons. Um, whatever you prefer, just no scribbling, okay? So I'm going to fast forward to color mine. And here we go. Look how adorable she is. <laughs> and actually, this is my first one. I thought there's no point in coloring the exact same picture. But you can see the words there. And my mask. And it's neat because there's you with the mask. And there's you without a mask. Very appropriate for the um, world that we're living in right now. Now, don't forget, those of you in Virtual Academy, to do your Google Form. You have the one Google Form so you can get your participation grade. And actually, if we've met up live, which we probably are, you may not have to worry about the Google Form. So whatever I told you um, at the beginning of art, go with that. Because um, this first week back, we're gonna be kind of figuring things out. But I think we're gonna meet with each other live on Teams and then you don't have to worry about the Google Form. But if for any reason we don't, um, you can go on my site and do the Google Form. There's also a second Google Form that will be there for sure. That one's not gonna go away and it is for the virtual art show. This year, because of the way everything is, our art show is gonna be virtual, meaning online. And so if you're really happy with your picture, and you would like for it to be part of the art show, um, take a picture of it and upload it to that Google form. And right now on my site, I have the um, a virtual art show going for Arlo Needs Glasses. And hopefully by the time you're watching this, hopefully I have one from our project last week, was, which, yeah, I can't talk, <laughs> which was making a mountain picture with lines. So hopefully I have both of those up by the time you're watching this. If not, I will soon. So, um, it's good to see you. Thank, for, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great week.